everyone. Welcome to Cancer and Crafts. I'm Stacy. Today's video, I'll show you two easy ways to make an aromatherapy eye pillow. The first kind does not have a removable sleeve. It's all sewn together. The second kind does have a removable fabric outer sleeve. The inside of it is made with the muslin fabric and the filling. The supplies you're going to want to have Thing you're going to want to do is cut your muslin down. I usually fold mine over and I cut it to nine inches long uh, by five inches wide. For my first fabric, I fold it right sides together and cut it down to five inches by 10 inches folded or five inches by 20. For the removable sleeve, I've now got my fabric cut down to the size that I want it, five by 10, and that's for the removable sleeve. The next piece of fabric I'm going to cut is for the non-removable sleeve. And again, I fold that right sides together, five inches wide to nine inches long, or five by 18 if you're doing it straight. For the non-removable sleeve, I'm going to take one piece of muslin and I'm just going to, again, right sides together, I'm going to put the exterior fabric that I'm going to have inside the muslin, fold that over. And I'm going to be able to take that to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew along the top, down the side, flip it over, and again, top, down the side. I'm going to leave maybe two inches at the opening, and that'll be what I use to fill the eye pillow with, uh, with the filling. So this one is ready to go to the sewing machine. For the removable sleeve eye pillow, I've got my muslin piece. This is what I'll be sewing at the sewing machine, the same way that I'm sewing the non-removable sleeve. With just the muslin fabric, I'm going to sew at the top and down each side, leaving about two inches for the opening where I'll put the filling in. I'll take this over to the sewing machine. For the fabric sleeve, I'm going to be using this hem measure, measuring tool. It's very easy for me to be able to get my exact measurements of what I want. And I'm going to take my fabric, I'm going to have it laying right side down, and I'm going to take my measuring tool and go about a quarter of an inch and do a hem on that. So again, with this ruler, very easy to get a good straight hem. On both sides, I'm going to lay it right side up, and I'm going to use the same ruler, and I'm going to look for the three inch mark, and I'll fold that and iron a crease in that. And 
and I'm going to take the other side and fold it up so that there's some overlap and I want it exactly nine inches long with the short side as the overlap. I'll iron both sides so that there's a decent crease to it. And then I'm ready to take that to the sewing machine. And on each side, I'm just going to sew down both sides. For the eye pillow without the removable sleeve, again, I've got it the fabric inside of the muslin, right sides together. And also the top and down the side. Once I have that sewn together, got my opening here, I'm going to trim just the top corners. And then I'll turn it inside out and I'll either use my fingers or if a corner is being stubborn, I'll use something like this with a blunted tip to get into those corners. For the removable sleeve, I'm going to sew the muslin, the top and down each side, leaving a two two inch opening. So I have an opening there. With this one, I don't necessarily cut off the corners. It's such thin, the muslin is so thin, it really does not make that much difference. For the removable sleeve, I'll sew each side just straight down. Again, I use the folded, the shorter folded edge on the top. So when you turn it inside out, to me that looks better. Same quarter inch seam allowance. the removable sleeve I will trim off the long thread and again flipping it inside out and I'll take it to the iron to make sure that it looks crisp try to get out any wrinkles make sure the corners look good that's it for the removable sleeve. For your filling, again, I use a scale, partly because I want consistency, especially if I'm doing a wholesale order or just giving them away as gifts. I like everything to be measured about the same. So I'll put my cup on here, tear it out, and then seven point four is about exactly where I like the measurement to be. And now I'm ready to fill my non removable sleeve and my muslin pouch. I found this pouring cup with my iron. It works a lot better than a large measuring container. But if you don't have one, I used to use a funnel that I made out of paper and that works pretty good. So this one is all done. I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine and just sew this part closed. For the muslin pocket, same thing. Just open up. This one is ready. It's all done. 
For the removable sleeve, I've got the muslin pouch. Again, I'm just going to sew as close to that edge as possible with a, my sewing thread on about a two. And now I'm done with this. I can take it to my fabric sleeve. And there it is. You're all done. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share the video and my channel.